Hey, good morning, Ruben. This is a quick demo video for you for your Starfall Legacy. Um, thank you for your patience. I know you haven't thought that you've been waiting very long. It's a bit long compared to what I would normally do. Um, you had asked for something extra on this. So rather than just design a chassis and, and print it out in-house, I designed a brass chassis, uh, sent it out to be printed, just got it in, and then uh, I just got it in yesterday, actually, and then went to town installing this guy for you. All right, so outwardly, it looks the same. I didn't do anything that, uh, um, you know, that affected the aesthetic of the Sabre. You've still got a two-button setup here, which are two dome switches, so you've got your power over here and your auxiliary right behind it. Um, you do have some nice shine through in this glass eye that you'll see here in a second. A Carl Chen V4 NeoPixel connector. Um, but all of the magic happens inside of the handle. All right, so we'll just come over here and unscrew the handle. Be aware that it's a tight fit, so just go ahead and unscrew it. As you do that more often, it'll work its way in a little bit, but um, there is a lot of stuff going on inside of this guy. But we'll talk about the handle first. In order to get... 28 millimeter speaker to fit on this particular chassis because it does go all the way to the back I mean it goes right to the back of the pummel as you can see right there um, I had to uh, had to do some modifications to the handle so first I took the pummel off which it used to unscrew um, I machined the threads off and then I machined the ID of the pummel all the way up to a 1.1 or actually a 1.15 so that 28 millimeter would fit all the way in but because I machined the threads off, I made a coupler. I did adhese this pummel to the handle so it doesn't unscrew anymore. And then also I came in here, if you can see, and I machined the ID of the handle just a little bit as well because I needed to open that up. Um, there was just some slight stuff that was getting caught up in there. Uh, so I opened that up all the way to the back of the pummel. This is now one unit. All right, but from the outside, it doesn't look any different. Coming over here, uh, this is the chassis that I came up with. So you've got your crystal chamber right here. Now there is a crystal inside of that gate, but the gate spins when the saber is on. Uh, that is a feature I wanted you to have, so I'll show you that here in a second. This is your battery tray, or your battery cover rather. If you wanted to open this up, which we can real quick, you just get you a pair of tweezers or something come over on one of these middle nubs. I'm just going to go up underneath this guy right here. I'm going to do it in my lap so I don't drop anything and just press up. All right. Just press up on the brass and you can pop it off. This is my test battery. It doesn't look great, but it's very trustworthy. <laughs> so, um, get your battery in there. We can go ahead and take it out real quick and show you what the battery compartment looks like. That is your battery compartment. So of course, you know, spring side over here for the negative side of your battery. No wires or anything like that. We'll come over here and toss the battery in. You can put this tray on however you want, or the cover rather, here. Or it can go over here like this. This is just a press fit into the chassis, just like that. And then you can just squeeze it closed like that. Um, I did not use magnets on this guy because everything was such a tight tolerance. I just wanted it to be a press fit. I didn't see the use for magnets, especially when it's in the handle. Um, it holds everything together. All right. You've got a fully enclosed 28 millimeter Smoker's Outpost Elite speaker here. So, so just a brass accent that goes all the way around the speaker area. Here, over on this side, you have a... An 18 pixel accent strip right behind this brass accent and just says solo sabers on top of this one all right if you flip it over to this guy you have another 18 pixel accent right underneath this brass piece and if you can see that in arabesh there it says starfall sabers legacy in arabesh all right and then finally over here you have your board this is your board cover if you pop this off you have access to your SD card and your micro USB. I know you don't typically make changes, so I've made them for you, though there is a copy of the config file on the SD card. Now, if you look closely in there, right in this hole right here, that is where your kill switch is. So you can just take like a, 
I'm going to use a pair of tweezers, but anything, a key, a pair of tweezers, something, just go in there and flip it open, or flip it on rather. You don't have to take that board cover off. All right. And then what else do we got? Shine through on the saber. The saber comes with some shine through options right here. So in my upper chassis part that you can't see, but it looks like this, there is another 18 pixel accent strip wrapped around this guy and it sits about right here or so. And that is how we light up that entire section right there. All right, so now saying all that, let's come in here and flip our switch. Do it in the dark here. So you've got your LEDs on top of the board. You got both of your LED strips going. You've got your crystal pulsing. And if you look up here, we've got all this we've got this going around and around too, right? Until we come over here and we hit power. Now we've got that spinning piece. You can still this see this piece right here. LED strips going a little faster. Nice shine through right here. And of course your LEDs in there, right? And you've got twist off. Let's do one more and then we'll put the handle on. Crystal radius. So I made each of these a different color for you. So you could just have a little bit of different effect. We all react to the auxiliary button being pressed. And twist off. All right. Now let's put the handle on. When you put it on, like I said, it's tight, but it'll go. So just put it on there, screw it all the way down. And line up your, this piece right here should line up with your control box in one straight line. And you're good to go there, right? And then we come over here again and hit power. With the handle on, this saber is loud. You've got two different blade retention options. You've got this grub screw here, which I'm not going to use. And then you've also got your red eye or your glass eye rather. I backed it out of the blade socket so it's not my way. And I can put this blade in. This is uh, Saber is made for a one inch diameter NeoPixel blade. And then I'm just going to lock it in with the with the glass eye agreeably here because that's enough. All right. That way you don't need to use any tools. As you can see, we still got that shine through down here. Let's go to another one. So this one is going to be an orange unstable. Blast your bowls. Blade lock up. And of course all of them have a soundtrack, so a long press on the power when the saber's off. Right. And another long press to turn it off. Just like that. So let's go ahead and take this blade out. Comes right out. I'm going to put this back in so I don't forget to do that. All right, we'll go ahead and take the handle back off so we can see the, the, orange, um, the orange effect on the chassis. So you've got all that going. Turn it on real quick.
And then when we're done, we can come over here and flip our kill switch again with our pair of tweezers and it kills everything. All right. That is basically your Starfall Legacy. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. It is Saturday, so I will get this out in the mail to you first thing Monday morning. Thanks, Ruben. Thank <laughs> you.